video because I would be reviewing this hair. Guys, it's the first time, not only am I wearing a frontal, but I did this myself. Like you mean. How did I do? Like, I really like it. Like, ignore the baby hairs. I haven't laid it down. I just laid like my normal one. Let me just show you my normal, my natural baby hairs. I did customize it a bit. I cut it. I plucked and plucked. Guys, my fingers. Like, it's no joke. When these beauty bloggers and you know hair reviewers tell you that their fingers ache after they've like customized a frontal or any wig, like it's no joke. Like, I was plucking for ages and I took out a lot of hair, but. Even after that, like, I felt like I could go in a little bit more on certain areas. So if I keep looking down, it's because there's a mirror there. So I just realized, you know. But yes, um, I got lights, guys. As you can see, I'm sweating. And I am literally, I feel like, like my makeup is, like, melting in this heat. But I'm doing this all for you guys. I promise that the quality would be better. Yes, I am filming on my phone. Do not judge me. <laughs> you know, we all have to start somewhere. Um, I didn't have time to... Go get the camera for my friend but um and i'm still deciding what camera to get so if you can recommend any cameras that you think would be great for me to shoot with and you know vlog with please pop it down below in the comment section and i will get back to every single one of you so thank you and i do appreciate you guys watching my video so yeah carry on watching to hear me talk about this beautiful hair <laughs> oh by the way guys don't forget to like subscribe and comment oh my god my first video there, there was like what two comments but I actually appreciated it the time and effort like to some of you you're like oh it's no effort at all so why is she like you know hyping herself up or like you know talking about it no but it takes a lot of effort for most people to actually just say oh well done or you should do this or like oh nice top like I appreciated that you actually took time out of your day or you know the time you could be spent watching and commenting on other videos for you to comment and like and subscribe to my channel so thank you so yes guys don't forget to like subscribe and comment tell me how i could improve um you know if you don't like my lip combos or you feel like my under eye makeup is way too much or way too bright why don't you just pop a comment and tell me what to do or what i could do better or differently but yeah like follow subscribe and i love you for watching carry on mean it. Uh. Um, originally i don't know if hair reviews were part of my plan but here we are um, I decided last night slash this night no, last night to make a wig normally I get it done and I just do like a frontal but I get it done at my local salon or I yeah I just get it done at my local salon or I just wear like weaves but I haven't worn weaves in like maybe two years so um, I decided you know what let's try something Wednesday and try something new Thursdays why don't I make a wig and I started off watching Estare Live's video on how to customize or make a frontal and then I went on to Sophieology, you know I love her, um, Sophia's Choice, um, how to customize a frontal or something like that. And this is how I got to making this frontal wig and I feel like I did an amazing job for a first timer. It is slightly small on my head, I think I like overdid it with the measurements and yeah. I was thinking maybe I should take it apart and just like make it a little bit more um, wearable but it does fit there's nothing wrong it's just a little bit too snug not as in tight but I just feel like it's a little bit too small for my head just a little bit but I think I might keep this one I'm trying to decide because Estare and Sophia um, helps me I feel my head make this wig I'm deciding whether to call it Esther or Sophia like the name of my wig maybe you could help me and choose down below in the comments but yes let's carry on with this video I do want it to be snappy and quick and I know that I've been talking for I'm sure like five minutes so apologies I know people hate that and I hate it as well sometimes depending on who I'm watching and I'm new so sorry so yes guys the bundles did come in this uh, cardboard paper thing and they were attached right there with the barcode and the name of the company which is as you can see from the title of the video but also it's going to be everything's going to be linked down below to this exact hair that i'm wearing um i think it was from rebecca fashion and i got three bundles of 20 inches 22 inches and 24 inches i think and the closure itself which came oh yeah so the bundles came attached to this inside of this plastic case thing um 
and then the closure i mean the frontal came in this packet sachet thing and it was a body wave and i think it was 20 inches it was my first time ever buying from rebecca fashion normally i get it from like annabelle hair or um i don't know if i've ever gotten it from unis but whatever hair company is trending at that time and i know they've got quite a good reviews and a lot of people have tried and tested it and i know that they've got a good rapport i tend to get it from there but i just thought i want I make my own decision and like do my own research and find a new hair company that's still affordable but they give good hair and guys it took me about two weeks to actually like me I think two or three weeks to actually make a decision for myself it did come in a standard I think DHL package thing plastic thing so um, yeah I mean they could have done a little bit better with the presentation but guys when I saw the hair it looked like real human hair yes I thought I spotted some like dandruff or something in there um, I don't know what it was. I brushed it out. I washed it out. But guys, this is what I got. The frontal I thought would not be as thick as it is on my hair, on my head. But guys, it felt so thick once I created the wig. Um, shedding wise, shedding wise, it did shed quite a bit. But I don't know if it's because I plucked it. Um, but when as I plucked, I brushed everything out. But Running my finger, I'm just gonna hold on to the wig a little bit so I don't embarrass myself on the YouTube. But um, brushing through it, there's only a little bit of shedding, but I feel like that's normal, especially as this is body wave, and I haven't had body wave for a very long time. I've, I tend to get um, more straight hair, so buying body wave is like a new, a new thing for me. I haven't done it in quite a while. I think I used to get body wave and um, like curly patterns when I used to do my weave-ins but yeah this is my first time getting it. Hair texture, it feels, it doesn't feel like baby doll hair, it feels like actual human hair. I did want to dye it blonde because um, I'm when I used to do weaves, uh, weaves I, I was so used to being blonde or like a golden yellow blonde sort of thing and I thought to dye this, sorry I am looking down at the mirror, but I thought to dye this um, blonde last night so I can wear it this morning and I don't want to because I'm quite indecisive I thought you know what make a wig and see how I feel in the morning and if I still feel like dyeing it blonde I have my bleach and everything ready but guys let me know what you think do you prefer this in the black and especially as yes, it's my first one and do you think I should make another frontal and then try dyeing that blonde just let me know down below and um, price wise I think altogether it was like either 130 pounds or $130 around that time but I do know it was quite affordable for the amount I was getting and the length and the thickness and I think this was Brazilian hair so the quality is really good I would give the quality like a four out of five I, the reason I'm giving it a four is because again I don't know how it's my first time wearing the hair um, I literally made the wig and now it's oh, on my hair so I don't know the durability I don't know how long would it last it'll last for but so far so good I like the feel I like the texture it feels like it'll take the dye really well does it tangle well I keep swishing the hair around guys as you can see it's a lot of hair and yes it does get tangled but it's easy to detangle guys like it's like no fuss hair the only thing is I don't like that it sheds a little bit too much but I do like the hair um, first time buyers I would say definitely purchase the hair um, good value for money or great value for money but I think I will do another one month review this is just a quick um, review on this hair you do find a lot of vendors on Aliexpress that are quite just rude and just after your money um, but in terms of customer service they were great in terms of quality of hair and the amount you got that was like a three to four out of five I was really happy with it it could be thicker but like popping the hair on my head right now in this wig I feel like it's like a four out of five it's really good I do like the hair normally a little bit thicker but I feel like this th the thickness as itself is really good I like the bounce to the hair as well it's got really nice bounce and yeah I don't know what else anyone would want to know um it's affordable great customer service from the company would I recommend it yes um does it smell no actually it didn't smell when I got it out of the packet doesn't smell now it just smells of like really nice shampoo maybe it's because 
I shampooed it, but um, I don't recall there ever being a smell to the hair. Um, there were particles in the hair, as I said, it looked like dandruff or like, I wouldn't say bugs, but just like stuff in there, but I brushed it out and I don't know what it was, so I'm just getting guessing that it's from when they cut the hair off whoever's head or whatever's head. But um, yeah, <sighs> guys, I don't know what else to say for hair review. Literally, when if I'm buying hair from a company or I'm getting a recommendation from my friend about what hair company to use, I would just normally ask these questions. Is it affordable? Yes. How 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 are the vendors with you? Are they nice? Uh, do they give you good customer service? And is the hair like the quality? Is it really good quality? And I feel like I can get a lot of durability out of this hair and I'm really excited to wear it and like play with it. I did customize it. It did not come with a middle part. I did this myself. I did do like a little tiny part, but I felt like that just made me look like I was wearing a wig. So I just made the, the line or the part in a little bit thicker. And then I also, I'm just gonna, I also, um, the baby hair's hair didn't come um, pre-cut or pre-plucked. Um, pre so I made this side myself. The only bits that came, well, slightly pre-cut and slightly pre-plucked were the front bits. But then I took this bit out and I plucked it some more and I just sort of did the same thing down the side and on this side as well. Again, I'm still customizing the wig. I didn't glue it down today just because this is a bit of a hassle, so I didn't bother. And I'm just showing you the hair. It's just a quick demo, but I'm really happy with my purchase. Will I will I be purchasing from this company? Yes. Yeah. Love confession. She is a heartbreaker. She bend up a backbreaker. Steaming hot water vapor. I wanna... Tim. So I am Gina. I wanna date her. So tell me why you do me so. So tell me why you do me so. Baby, we never let you go. Get me down. It's a little bit worried that it might, I might need to like tint or like bleach the knots, but I didn't have to do any of that. I like Never seen melanin so dark. You're the queen of the dance floor. Nice, such a light corner. I'll be seen, baby. Would you put me in your diary? If I had that glued down, you would not be able to tell at all. So, yes, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. My phone was ringing, and obviously, I'm recording on my phone. So, yeah, that had to cut. But, yeah, as I was saying, and you know, as my wig was being pulled back, um, would I, would I be repurchasing from this company? Hell yeah, definitely yeah. I would even recommend, like I'm rec I'm recommending that you guys go out there if you're interested in making your first wig or a wig or buying cheap affordable hair that is really good quality, like I would recommend you guys going out there and purchasing it for yourself. It oh, I forgot to also mention that it took about what, three to five working days delivery all the way from I think China to London. It may vary from country to country, but um, and I don't know if they deliver to all parts of the world, but I know that they delivered to London and it took about three to five days. Um, guys, I'm just really happy with my purchase and thank you so much for watching. I hope I didn't ramble too much and I hope that I, you know, answered all the questions you would have asked me if you were sitting right across from me and you were asking me about this hair. If there's anything that I've missed, please pop it down below and I'll try and answer it for you as much as I can in as much details as I can and as quickly as I can but yes thank you guys so much for watching my video don't forget to like don't don't forget to subscribe don't forget to support your girl on all social media handles if anything just follow me on snapchat like let's talk on there um yeah like subscribe follow and I love you for watching thank you so much for the support and if you're just passing through hi can you just let me know where you're watching from or where you're passing from See you in my next video. Bye. Hey, baby, waiting for me go. I want to see you go, do. Baby, really come and do. I want to see you go.